Let's knit the basket rib stitch. Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com. For more information on this stitch, visit the website at Lumahead.com forward slash basket rib. Now keep in mind that this is only the stitch pattern and not a project, so there's no cast on or cast off. To see that, visit the website at lumahead.com forward slash start my stitch patterns. All right guys, let's cast on an odd number of pegs and let's begin with rows one through two where we're just gonna knit the row. We're going to be using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch. And for that, all you're gonna do is take your strand of yarn and you're gonna half wrap the peg and then knit off. Again, you're going to half wrap the peg and knit off. Now you can use any version other than the U-wrap. So feel free to use the flat or the classic, also known as the true knit stitch. Don't use the E-wrap version. All right, we're done with row one and we're going to turn around because we're doing the flat version of this stitch pattern for the in the round version, see the written pattern. All right, keep knitting. Once you knit off that last peg, you're ready for row three, where you're going to knit one and then slip one with yarn in back. Keep in mind that these pegs right here, the first and last, are my edges and they don't count as part of the two peg pattern which is right here and here and here that's my repeat where I do the um, where I have the rubber bands I'm going to knit and where I don't I'm going to slip so there's my edge not pattern part of the pattern the next one is where I'm going to start so I'm going to half wrap the peg and knit off because I'm using a U wrap version then I'm going to slip so I'm just going to take my strand of yarn and leave it behind that peg. That's how I skip it. And then I start the pattern again with a knit stitch. So I half wrap and knit off. And then the next peg, I'm going to slip, in other words, skip. But I'm going to leave the yarn behind it. And that's how you're doing with yarn in back. Then you start the pattern again. You're going to knit the next peg. And then slip with yarn in back and then start it again. Like I said, it's a two peg pattern. So you just continue to do those two stitches, the knit one and then slip one and knit one and slip one all the way till you get to the last two. And then you're gonna do that last stitch and you're gonna do an extra knit to balance the pattern. And then my edge right here, which isn't part of the pattern, I'm going to knit. All right, now we're ready for row four, which is exactly like three, except you're going to purl one and then slip one with yarn in back. All right, let's start. Now remember that I have an edge. So this right here, I'm going to knit, but it's not part of the pattern. So kind of ignore it. I'm gonna start the pattern here and here and here and I'm going to continue that two stitch pattern everywhere there's a blue rubber band I'm going to purl that was where I knitted and then I'm going to slip just like I did before I'm doing the same thing and it looks like this by the way so you could see the back so you're ready we're going to purl put the strand under the existing loop scoop it up create a new loop take the old one off put the new one and then pull and your next one, you're going to slip. All right, for you guys that don't know how to purl, put the yarn strand under the existing loop with your hook from the top, scoop it up, and you're creating a new loop right here. Take the old one off, put the new one on, and pull. And you're gonna slip the next one. Putting the yarn behind, right? You're done. And then you're going to, again, purl the next one. Keep repeating that until you end your row. Now I want you to make note of the fact that the two peg stitch pattern always ends with a slip stitch, right? A skip stitch. So in order to balance those two rows, you're going to always end row three with a knit stitch and for row four, you're going to end with an extra 
purl stitch. So here's your one extra one that's going to balance the pattern out. And then in my case, I'm adding my edge, which for me is going to be a knit stitch. And that's your four row stitch pattern, which I think is extra beautiful. Special thanks to Carol, Valerie, and Clarissa. And guys, repeat rows one through four until you reach the desired length. I hope you like the pattern. Come back and loom knit with me again.